Churchill, you ready to race? Are you ready to race? What's up everybody, Grant here from Spectre Racing. So this is gonna be a quick video on how I set up a kind of work from home racing sim. So if you haven't seen the video before where we go over the actual uh, high quality racing simulator here uh, that I built during the pandemic for almost nothing, check out the, uh, the video links below. <clears throat> so this racing simulator, it's on casters so you can kind of wheel it around nicely, move it off into the corner of the room, uh, it was built out of spare parts and old racing seats, uh, but it works really good. So one of the important things uh, with the racing simulator is you get a nice curved monitor. So this is a, uh, a Samsung Odyssey G5. I'll put the links for everything in this video down below. Now it's not absolutely critical, especially if you already have a uh, work from home setup, you know, from the pandemic. Uh, this was built uh, entirely for this setup. And if you've seen in the other videos I did, like where I taught my wife how to drive manual in VR, I used to have VR in here. I moved that into a bigger space in our house. I'm gonna get a more dedicated, uh, a more dedicated uh, like sit space VR, like some of the new um, the HP Reverb G2 or whatever it is. So uh, a lot of the, the racing games that I, that I genuinely like, you know, that maybe aren't as sim-like, don't have VR. Forza, um, Beam, NG Drive. Uh, so a lot of those, uh, you know, don't have it. So I kind of wanted to have an experience where I could also do non-VR. And VR does, you know, you can't really sit there and play it forever. It does get kind of annoying. And, you know, it, it does take a little bit to set up. But not to mention it's kind of expensive still. So this setup here, this is the Logitech G20. Uh, like I said, links all down below. Uh, the computer setup is a mini ITX setup. It's a uh, NVIDIA or EV EVGA uh, RTX 3070. I managed to get one <laughs> somehow from the uh, New Egg Shuffle. Uh, i9 10900K setup. So it can play everything uh, pretty much at max settings. When you build a setup like this, you always want to make sure you match your build to your monitor. So in this case, this is a like not a 4K monitor. This is a 2.7K. I forgot the actual designation for it. So you don't need the real powerhouse equipment like an RTX 3080 or whatever. Uh, that you would want for like a 4K setup, 4K TV, etc. So the most important thing about this kind of work from home uh, non-VR setup is this arm. So you can see I can move it, put it up. Oh, gotta get the thrust arm thing out of the way. And I can move it out of the way. So go get my chair wheel out of the way, get back there, uh, get back to doing work. <laughs> After you're done with work, you just simply move the monitor and drag it, drag it down here. And you still kind of have, um, it does kind of sit on the, uh, it is kind of sitting on the keyboard there, but there we go. So. It does kind of sit on the button there, so I probably should make a little rubber stand for it or something. But for the most part, it works great. And you still kind of have access to your mouse. Uh, you can kind of move it off to the side here. And here you go, you got a nice immersive setup. You know, as close to you can get as VR as possible. And you're good to go. Good to play some, you know, non-VR games like Forza, Forza Horizon, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on how this work from home setup is set up. And if you want to see any more gaming stuff, please let us know. I know it seemed to all you enjoyed the uh, me teaching my wife manual <laughs> video. So I need to get her back here. Maybe we can get some uh, Beam NG Drive and, uh, and or Euro Truck Simulator or something and have her try and drive our trailer, uh, essentially, because we have a large uh, uh, toy hauler, if you haven't seen the other videos here. so. That's it though, thanks for watching.